All right, so with over a thousand positive reviews on this pair of sneakers right here, 4.5 stars, I wanted to check these out. I've been actually wanting to see these since the Speedgoat 3s. This is the newer version, the Speedgoat 5, so I wanted to go ahead and give these a go and see what the fuss is all about, if it's something that fits my feet for whatever I use my shoes for or not. Uh, but I got these actually sent over from Hibbit City Gear. Big shout out to them for sponsoring this content on this channel. Uh, this is a pair that I saw on their website and I was like, can I get those? Because I really been wanting to try them. Uh, and since they're sponsoring the video, much, much appreciated uh, for them sending these over. If you guys have never heard of Hibbit City Gear, link in the description, take you over to the webpage. They have a bunch of different pairs of sneakers over there worth looking at. They have Jordans and Adidas and Hoka's and you know, all sorts of different brands. You can sort by category, like running, basketball, and so on, size as well as colors. They also do have a really nice release calendar, let you guys know of all the cool things that are coming up in the future, especially during the holiday seasons. Worth checking that out. But link in the description over Hibbit City Gear. Thank you again for sending these speed goats over. And this colorway is dope as well. First of all, I mean, it's a really eye-catching color. The gradient midsole is one of my favorite features. You have that like yellow and then it fades to the orange. I just like the way that looks. And then the accents of the blue is a nice little addition. The rubber nibs on the bottom and then yellow on the outsole as well or like lime green I guess then you have black and gray on the upper with some fused overlays and little hits of blue as well again on the back column here it looks like a light gray or a white and it does say SG for speed goat and this model is definitely one that I've been very interested in so it's pretty lightweight first of all let's go ahead and weigh it so 10.1 ounces for a trail running sneaker is a pretty lightweight amount especially concerning how much uh, rubber nibs you have on the bottom and this features a Viber Mega Grip outsole which is definitely a welcome uh, plus right there so first impressions out of the box just looking at the shoe obviously I like the aesthetic I think that overall it looks like a great shoe. It is a little bit low to the ground though. So one thing I noticed as soon as I put it on, there's a giant heel horn that sticks out. This is something we've seen on the Clifton's and stuff as well. But the one thing that I was like, ah, I'm not really in love with is just the tongue placement. The fact that it's a split like fork tongue here, and then you have to kind of pull it and slide it on to get it on your foot. It is a little bit difficult to get on my feet personally. And then when you do get it on, the tongue feels like it sits very, very low. Like I wore no-show socks and this was a little bit too low or just right next to the no-show line. So just pointing that out, it is a little bit different. I do like the padding on like the Clifton's a little bit better than something like this. But I do like that the lockdown here is really snug and obviously you want something like that if you're gonna be using these for trail walking and running and stuff like that because you don't want the debris to get inside of this section right here. So I like that it's attached or gusseted right here and you can pull on it and stuff and it's nice and snug. Uh, gives you a secure feel so you don't have to lock down your laces as much and you still feel really secure within the product. But I do feel like the tongue is a little bit too low for my personal preference, so I wanted to throw that out there. The overall cushioning and how they feel on feet, it's pretty nice, man. I have a couple other trail runners out here that I enjoy as well, but these ones are in line with uh, some of the best out there. So my favorites out there are the Gore-Tex Hero V7s. I absolutely love these. You get the wide versions as well if you need them for the extra width of the shoe, but it has a Fresh Foam X from New Balance. Absolutely great. And then has, again, that Gore-Tex. So this one, huge, huge W because of the Gore-Tex on the upper. And then I do have a Gore-Tex version of the Pegasus Trails as well. Uh, parts of the upper around the collar here I don't really love as much, but it is a pretty nice pair as well. And I would say comfort-wise, these are in line, if not even a little bit better than both of those pairs of sneakers. I love my Fresh Foam X. I've worn these ones to the bone, but this is one where I don't even know the proprietary foam in Hoka. I don't even think they have one, which is really interesting, but it is pretty nice and pretty soft on feet. It's probably not the most like responsive and stuff, but you definitely feel the absorption when you're walking around in the shoe. And I think that's definitely a bonus considering when you're walking around over top of debris and stuff, it definitely feels like it would absorb it quite a bit. Now I didn't get these for necessarily trail running or anything like that, but I do walk around outside with the kids and stuff on a regular basis. And I do live in Oregon, so the elements are upon us when we're out here in the Pacific Northwest. So it is a great just all around pair of sneakers to have for that. I wanted to give you guys some words what Hibbit City Gear says about the product specifically though. A workhorse designed for technical trails, the Speed Goat returns with less weight and more traction than ever before. A new shoe from outsole to laces, this trail beast is updated with the Vibram Mega Grip with traction traction lugs for enhanced grip on loose soil. Retaining the same stack height and rocker profile, the Hoka Speedgoat 5 employs a lighter midsole compound and a hardier double layer jacquard mesh to inspire confidence in any terrain. And the overall reviews on their website is 4.3 stars out of five. So I thought it was 4.5, but 4.3. And then it does say it does fit true to size and the width is perfect as normal. Around that 150 price point is probably the proper price for something like this. It's similar in line with what you get with these, I think 160s or so, and same as for the Pegasus. So it's right around the right price for the product. And honestly, if you like the, the Nike Pegasus trail line or the Hero line from New Balance, uh, I feel like this is one that a lot of people have given a try. And I feel like it is good competition 
for everything out there. It offers a lot in the package. The only thing I don't really like is the tongue construction. I think that this one I like the least out of the other three, but the overall midsole and outsole I feel like is really quite nice as well. Now this is the late model. They have a new one coming out, I think pretty soon, the Hero V8s. So it will be interesting to be able to see those and compare them to these uh, speed goats because I feel like the Hero line is constantly evolving as well, similar to this pair right here. But uh, I think that they did a really nice job and it's something that I enjoy wearing and it's something that's quite comfortable. I think the overall style on the speed goats actually look really nice as well, a little bit sleek. The horn might, be sticking out a little bit too much on the back here for some but I don't mind it uh, just the tongue right here again is the only part that I would recommend them making a little bit taller just making it a little softer personally but I kind of get why they did the fuse kind of feel to it because they want it a little bit lower and more locked down uh, anyway that's my thoughts on the speed goats from a casual hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys are interested in buying a pair of these I'll link them over to Hibbit City Gear also if you guys have a pair of these and you've worn them or even the speed goat fours leave some comments in the comment section what do you guys think about the Hoka product line I feel like nowadays a lot more people are turning into Hoka so it's fun to be able to see the evolution of what Hoka has to offer. And actually Hibbit City Gear sent me my very first pair of Hokas years ago. And uh, since then I've tried probably a dozen different models. So pretty awesome uh, that they were able to put me on so early. Anyways, thanks again for stopping by and watching. Again, shout out to Hibbit City Gear for sponsoring the video. And hopefully we'll see you back for some more content soon. All right, peace guys.